Hello and welcome to KeywordK9.com. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the system so you can see just how powerful Keyword K9 really is. Now, if you've seen one of our previous videos, you might still want to watch this one because we've added new data and we're always improving on the previous tools that we've had for a while. And for an in-depth look at any of these features, there's a tutorial page that you can check out. Now, Keyword K9 is no ordinary keyword tool. It's a powerhouse with very sophisticated algorithms that are constantly working and updating in the background, designed to help you find the best niches and keywords in several markets, so that you can brainstorm with a click of the mouse and save loads of time and money by targeting the best keywords available. Now, before Keyword K9, so many people would spend weeks and months researching keywords and targeting SEO to boost search engine rankings, only to find they wasted their time because the keywords they chose shouldn't have been targeted in the first place. Keyword K9 makes sure that you've got the best keywords to target and that you find them in minutes instead of weeks. Now let's show you how this all works. There are four different modules to work with and that's what we're going to look at today. That's the Analyze, Niches, Reports, and Boost modules. And let's actually start by looking at our new Niche Discovery tool. This is a very powerful brainstorming tool that is constantly testing and analyzing keywords in the background and updating all the time. It's a great place to go for ideas of what niche you might want to get into and puts all of that brainstorming on autopilot for you. We've got this set up for four different markets, the US, the UK, Germany, and France, and each has niches and keywords in the relevant language. So in our US market, we can see that we've currently got 5,350 niches in the database from the past 30 days. We constantly add new niches and delete old ones so that people that were here a month ago or a year ago weren't going through the same keywords you are. That would defeat the whole purpose. We're constantly looking at brand new territory here. Now you can easily filter these by a number of different criteria. But one important thing to note here is that these numbers that you see don't represent those actual keywords, but rather the average for the top 10 keywords within that niche. So for instance, let's look at restoration experts. And as you can see, you get the top 10 keywords for the restoration experts niche. And these numbers here do represent the data for the actual keywords. Then all 10 sets are compiled to give you the average here at the top. So to be clear, restoration experts does not have 444 global searches. It has 73, but it and all its related keywords have an average of 444. You can see here how difficult these keywords are to compete for. It's all been analyzed for you already. Green is easy, yellow is moderate, and red is difficult. Now this is organic search competition, while over here, this bar indicates how much advertisers are competing for those keywords. So if it's high, then there's probably money in that niche. And if it's low, then there's probably not much money in it. Now, let's say that you've got a few niches in mind. Let's go to the Analyze module, and here you'll see four different tools, but actually, we're only going to focus on two of these right now. Analyze Keywords and the Keyword Explorer. The Site Explorer is a light version of the Reports module, which we'll cover here in a minute, and the Related Keywords tool is an older version of this Keyword Explorer. But because some of our early users are comfortable with it, they asked us to keep it here for them. So again, we'll just be looking at these two. We'll start with the Keyword Explorer. This is a very powerful tool that lets you hunt down the best keywords in any niche you can imagine. First, you select your market, then pop in some keywords. For this demo, we'll use discount BMW parts. And we've got 800 keywords. Those that have a color next to them are those that the Keyword Canine system has analyzed within the past 30 days. But if you find one that hasn't been analyzed, you can simply click the button, and it will analyze it and tell you if it's difficult, moderate, or easy. And in this case, it's pretty difficult. So if you targeted a page or a website with those keywords, it would probably be pretty hard to get it ranked. Now what you want to do here is filter your keywords down and find the best keywords to target. So let's say we want our keywords to have at least 4,000 global searches per month, and we want at least 175 per click. Boom. From 800, we've narrowed down 24 keywords that match this criteria. Not bad. We'll save these by adding a new list. We'll name it BMW, and we'll click this Save All icon here. And now that we have our list, we can bulk analyze instead of analyzing each one manually. Considering the amount of data it's looking into, the system is working very quickly. Now we see that many of these are difficult to compete for. In fact, this fire icon means it's fiercely competitive. So we'll delete those. 
and we're left with two that are very good. We can search for a related phrase if we like, and go through this process again, until we have the very best keywords to target. You can make as many lists as you want, in as many niches as you want, save them in the system, and manage all of your keyword research right here. And if you like, you can also export these lists. And by the way, at any time during this process, you can just click a keyword, and the system will load up a full analysis profile. There's an amazing amount of data here, which we'll cover in a second, all at the simple click of a mouse. Now the other way to access this keyword analysis is back here in the Analyze Keywords tool. So if you want to come back later and run an analysis, then you can do so by just popping in your keywords here. This analysis gives you tons of valuable information. You can analyze your top 10 competitors. You can find anchor text breakdowns for all of them to see what phrases they're targeting, to see how easy or how hard it would be to rank for. You get social media signals right here. So in this case, with all these zeros, we'd probably need to do a little social media marketing since Google and Bing are now looking at that more than ever. We also give you a backlink breakdown for your top 10 competitors to see what kind of backlinks they're dealing with, to see if they're in the thousands or hundreds or just a few. There's all kinds of extremely valuable data for the keyword phrase up here. Again, you can check out the tutorials page for an in-depth look, but we have a complex algorithm in the back end that looks at all kinds of different data to tell you whether it's easy or hard to compete for. So a lot of our users, myself included, just look at this and ignore all the rest. A lot of these easy sites get into the top 10 in search results very quickly. Okay, from here, let's go have a look at the Backlinks Reports module. You can generate a report on any site, whether it's yours or your competitors or both. And as you can see, you get all kinds of data. Like, there are 2,252 backlinks pointing to this specific page. And over 330,000 backlinks pointing to this and internal pages. We show the unique Class C IP percentage, so we see that only 1% of these backlinks are on separate unique C Class IPs, and that's very important to know, especially after the Google Panda and Penguin updates. This site's obviously doing quite well, but if it were my site, I'd want to work on increasing this number big time. You want to diversify your backlinks profile as much as possible and have them look more natural. So this 1% is a super low number, and if it were my site, I'd want to get more backlinks from different sources. We also show you .edu and .gov, which are typically pretty powerful backlinks. We have an anchor text breakdown. We also show you a breakdown of the no follows, which are ignored by Google and Bing and have no SEO value, and do follows. We also tell you how many of your backlinks are indexed, and we've just added a great new tool for you. As we can see here, there are 187 backlinks that have a KC rank of zero. This is very similar to Google's page rank. And when a page is zero, Google considers it unimportant and it doesn't index it. And therefore, all the backlinks on that page aren't counted. And how does a page rank get above zero? Well, it's got to have plenty of backlinks pointing to it, kind of a catch-22 there. So what we'll do for you, we'll take all of your KC zero ranked pages and submit them to a backlinks indexing service. You can do this every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. All you've got to do is click this link and we'll take all of the KC zero ranked pages that you currently have and we'll submit them for free. So that's the backlinks report module. And the last thing to show you is the boost module, which gives you free backlinks. Now these backlinks are coming from web directories right now, but stay tuned because in the future we're going to be adding in more social bookmarks, etc but web directories are still very powerful as long as you mix it in with some other sources. It's quick and easy, just pop in your info and you've got a bunch of free backlinks. And those are our four modules within Keyword Canine. As I'm sure you can see, Keyword Canine 2.0 is extremely complex and powerful while remaining very user-friendly and easy to use. So if you haven't already, click the button next to this video and claim your spot today. You'll have instant access to all of the tools I've gone over in this video and more. And we're so confident that you will love Keyword Canine 2.0 that we'll back it up with a full 30-day money-back guarantee. There's absolutely no risk involved. So click that link and start using Keyword Canine 2.0 today.